In this video, I will show you how to estimate the ordered probit model and the ordered logit model in Stata. Before you view this video, please make sure that you have watched my, my other two videos on the lecture and the example, and you can also download the program and data set from the website. I have opened the program on ordered probit and logit models in Stata and I have already executed and let's go ahead and look at the data so this is the data set that we have health status would be our dependent variable it would have three categories fair good and excellent this is an ordered dependent variable a categorical variable and we have age log income and number of diseases would be our independent uh, variables uh, that we will use in the analysis. When you run the data, when you run the program that I'm giving you, um, all you have to change is where your data file is located, the direction, the directory, as well as the name of the data file, and then change your variable names here. For my Y variable, I am picking health status, and for the X variables, I have age, log income, and number of diseases. So when you run this program with your data set, change this line, change this line with the dependent variable and independent variables, and the program should be running uh, with, with your example. The next thing to do is describe the data and summarize it. So in the description, we have health status uh, in three categories, age, uh, log income is measured as log of annual family income, and then we have the number of chronic diseases. And here is a summary uh, st statistics for the Y and the X variables, uh, if we summarize Y and X. And one of the things here is that this uh, health status, the mean here makes no sense because the dependent variable is coded as 1, 2, 3, but this number right here doesn't mean anything. A better way to summarize a categorical variable is with tabulate uh, Y list or the variable, and here we have fair, good, and excellent. We have the frequency and the percent frequencies. And these percent frequencies are the ones that I reported in the example. Um, so make sure that when you summarize your data set, you have your Y variable summarized in that way with percent frequencies, and the X variables could be summarized um, as just the means and standard deviations. So next we can uh, run the ordered logit model, and the command in Stata is O logit, and then you put the Y variable, and then you list all the X variables that you have in your model. And when you run it, this is the results that we have here for the order logit model. Notice that you have two intercepts here, and this is one of the signature ways in which you can recognize the ordered logit or probit model. If there are two intercepts, this means that there are three categories for the dependent variable. So this is a general logit model, so you can go ahead and only interpret the sign, but not the magnitude of the coefficients. And you can say that with higher age, you're more likely to be in the lower categories of health status, which means you're not as healthy. And if your income increases, you're more likely to be in the higher categories of health status, which means you're more likely to be healthy, and so on. The way to uh, calculate marginal effects is with the MFX command, comma, and then you have predict outcome one, two, and three. In your program, if you don't have three categories, or if they're not named one, two, and three, these are the things that you need to change. And Stata could also take numbers or um, the variable names or something, but these need to be changed depending on your on your program. So here are the marginal effects uh, once you run that code and you have um, 
three sets of marginal effects, one for each outcome. And here is the marginal effect on health status equal one, and I think that is the fair health sta status. So if uh, log income increases by one unit, you have that you're about 2% less likely to be in the fair health status, about 5% less likely to be in the good health status, and about 7% more likely to be in the excellent he uh, health status. So notice that these conclusions that we have here are consistent with those of just estimating the coefficients. And the other thing to notice here is that these marginal effects for the same independent variable would sum up to zero. If, if we have more likely on some categories, then we have less likely on other categories. The next thing that we can do is calculate the predicted probabilities. And this is done with the predict uh, and then you give it uh, different uh, names for the probabilities and then you can summarize those probabilities and tabulate. So when you do the prediction these are the means so each of the individual observations in the data now has a prediction for the predicted probability of being in each category and they are summarized across all the individuals. So if you look at these means, they're very close to the uh, what we observe in the data. So on average, we have very um, good prediction. Uh, individual uh, predictions, of course, can vary. The next thing that we can do is uh, estimate a probit model. And we can do this in a very similar way. The command is O probit for ordered probit. You put here the name of the Y variable and then the X variables. And these are the results that we get. As you can see, they're very similar to the ordered logit model. They just differ by a scale. So the interpretation would be exactly the same. Uh, higher age would be more likely to be in the lower categories of health status and higher income would lead to be more likely to be in the higher categories of health status, which means better health. And you can also notice here the cutoffs 1 and 2, which are the two intercept, which means we have three, um, three categories for the dependent variable. The next thing that you can do is also calculate the marginal effects and same command, MFX. Again, you need to change this 1, 2, and 3 to fit the numbers uh, in your data set as well as the number of categories we have. If, if you have like five categories here, you would have five lines to calculate the marginal effects for each of them. So notice now that despite the coefficients being very being different between the probit and the logit models, the marginal effects are the same. If you remember from a little bit um, up in the program, if income increases by one unit, you're 2% less likely to be in the fair category. You're about 4% less likely to be in the good ca health category. And then you're about 7% more likely to be in the excellent health uh, status category. So very similar conclusions between the probit and the logit model. And the other thing that we can do here is also calculate the uh, predicted probabilities for a probit model. And we do that with predict you give it a name and then you're predicting the probability of the outcome being 1, 2, and 3 and again you need to change this uh, with, with your data set and then you're summarizing these three um, uh, you, put, you put here different variable names and you're summarizing them so on average again you see very similar uh, numbers between the actual frequencies and the predicted probabilities. And if you look at the data, so I'm going to go ahead and open the data again. Here are the predicted probability for the logit model that we calculated before in the program. And here are the probit model. 
So the first person is 11% likely to be of poor health status, 45% likely to be of good health status, and 42% likely to be in the excellent health status. And very similar predictions from the probit model. And you can see that this actually, the second person has a much higher likelihood to be in an excellent health status. So you can actually view these for each of the individual observation. Okay, so this was a video on how to do prob ordered probit and logit models in Stata. Thank you for watching.